Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today I am on location at this movie theater and I'm working on my games here. And we got a pinball league going on, so I'm kind of getting them all spruced up. And I just wanted to, something occurred to me I thought I would share with you. Little minor things in pinball design really do have an impact on us operators when we have games out on location. Let me show you something. So this is Deadpool. This is a, really one of my favorite games. I think it's one of George Gomez's best designs. But I'm going to show you something about this game that is a possible design flaw that it seems to be corrected in another game. So people were playing this, and they were telling me the game was too dark. And I'm like, what's going on? And I noticed that a lot of the GI and the lower part of the GI was out, right? Um, I figured, since it was multiple places, it was probably some kind of cable, right? Well, when I took the game apart to wax it, this is when I noticed down here that that LED bulb, which is literally broken, right? It's broken. And the same thing on the other side. In this particular case, that bulb is off to the side. So the flex the, from the pinball, it actually can hit that ball. So in this case, the location of this LED is problematic. Now maybe it should have been sunk a little bit lower, or maybe it should have been moved further back, but that is a problem. This thing is broken, and I'm gonna have to, I have to see if I can pull this thing out. It's literally in pieces, and you can see it's broken apart there. So I'm gonna have to wrestle that out of there and see about fixing it. Whereas if you go over to, say, Jurassic Park, similar kind of Italian bottom layout, you'll notice the LEDs are, are recessed further back behind the blade switches on the slingshots. So this is much less likely that the ball is gonna strike those LEDs. Now, sometimes this is intentional or, or not. You know, maybe there just wasn't space to put the LEDs on Deadpool in that direction, but this is an example of where a minor little thing can cause uh, maintenance problems. This, the light bulbs in this game are working fine. So, you know, just putting them a little bit further back behind in the slingshot really does make a difference. So now I'm kind of looking around on games, like see on, on uh, Walking Dead, that, that LED is a little bit closer to the front. Um, let's take a look at, oh, that was Iron Maiden I was talking about. There's Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, the LEDs are behind, they're, they're further back. You know, let's take a look at the new Godzilla. These are all Keith Elwin designs, and so his location of the LEDs are seem to be in a consistent spot, which is a little bit further back in the back, so they don't get hit by the balls. Now I'm curious if this is something I. It's clearly in all three of Keith's designs. It's not in George Gomez's design, and I'm trying to. I don't know who did Walking Dead, but it's it's not quite there either. Although that one's not as bad. So little minor differences sometimes can uh, make a, a big difference in maintenance. So short little video, um, you know, pinball is an evolving thing you learn and hopefully we'll see little minor things. And I don't know if, if, they, if the people even know about that, you know. It would be nice if there was a little way that us operators could, you know, have a little hotline where we could say, hey, I noticed this on location and you know, take it into account for future reference. So anyway, uh, thanks everybody as always for watching. I'm sorry I haven't done a whole lot of videos lately, but I'm going to be doing more. Stay tuned and stand by and thanks for watching.